Hello everyone, today is going to be something a little different, probably something that many people haven't done before in the past or currently is I'm going to do a comparison of two uh, GPUs and uh, my thoughts on how these might apply to different individuals and they're kind of an apples and oranges card. Uh, most people are going to say why aren't you comparing a higher end card to this but uh, what we actually got here is the current card I'm actually using is the EVGA GeForce GTX 680. This is a beast of a card, easily hands down I think the, the highest performing single GPU card out there. The only issue that I find is, is that it runs hot. Uh, especially in my case where I don't really have a lot of uh, airflow cooling. Most of my stuff's done cooled through uh, uh, liquid cooling but it's really expensive to get a back plate and uh, water cool this. Uh, but that's uh, the card we're going to compare to a card that I think for the price right now is hands down the best GPU, the, the high-end GPU that you can get. And that is the XFX Radon HD 7950. And this is an excellent card and the fact that it's $299 right now on Newegg, uh, you can't beat that price right now. Hands down it's the uh, to me, even over the GTX 680 or 660 Ti that just came out, this is still, I think, hands down the better card, mainly due to the fact that this thing overclocks like a beast. Uh, I mean, people are getting really, really high clock speeds out of this, but mainly because of the cooling on it. And I don't know if anyone's. Uh, it kind of has a stepped approach. You can see the the heat sink runs all the way along there, so it has some great cooling features compared to my 680 which is a completely different design where it's basically a reference card and it just exhausts fan or exhaust air hot air through the back and that's the old place this one has two 90 millimeter fans on it that are help cooling it and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to run some 3D Mark 11 benchmarks and try to uh, kind of give an, an idea of what kind of performance you can get out of get out of these cards and these cards are completely different from each other in price point the 680 that I have right now which is a super overclocked version is 499 and the, the 7950 by XFX is uh, 399 so it's a $200 price point so for $100 more you could run Crossfire for the 7950 and out, it hands down destroy the, the 680 performance wise but uh, some people don't, you don't really get the performance that you might think you would get out of Crossfire. It's going to perform excellent, but it's going to have some, some issues depending on what games you run, what software, whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw both these cards in, go into the 3D Mark 11 and see what kind of scores we get, temperatures, and I'll show you kind of my thoughts and uh, why uh, I wish I kind of would have went with the 7950. This is, uh, this card is actually uh, just a card I'm probably going to get rid of at some point just because I, li I love the performance that you get out of the GTX 680. So let's jump in, throw this into the rig and see what kind of scores we can pump out. So right now I'm running a 3D Mark 11 on, this is the basic edition, free edition, just, it's just uh, download it and run it. And it is actually running right now on the AMD Radon HD 7950, which is a, it's an XFX, is the manufacturer of the card. And what I'm doing in this test is I've actually bumped the, uh, the overclocking to uh, 960 megahertz. And what I basically did that for is that it's, this card is a pretty high stable overclock basically due to its uh, high cooling design and I'm doing a, a kind of an overview here on why you might want to choose the 7950 over the NVIDIA GTX 680 and we'll get into that. I know it's kind of apples and they're, they're kind of completely different cars. I should be comparing the 7970 but uh, you'll see at the end here once we get into the price uh, point. Just finished running a benchmark on XFX uh, Radon 7950 uh, which is an AMD card and I ran uh, just the basic settings. I did bump the, the clock up to uh, 960 megahertz, which is about, uh, that's pretty stable for this card. I think the highest temperature it ran was 
Uh, 74 degrees was the highest temperature we actually got there. Let's zoom this in so you guys can can hopefully see this here. But you can see our high score, our highest uh, temperature was 74. This card has excellent cooling, which is one reason why I'm kind of doing a comparison here. And our total score was. 7,416 with a graphics score score of 7,921 and so that is the XFX card uh, AMD 7950 which currently is selling for $299 and you'll get into why I'm comparing these cards in a second once I get uh, get uh, towards it towards the end of this video but uh, those are pretty excellent scores it's pretty stable at uh, what we have let's see make sure yep uh, 960 uh, megahertz which is what I ran that that uh, test at I didn't touch anything else I didn't touch memory or power or anything like that I just bumped the, the, the clock speed up a little bit so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this card out and actually put in the GeForce GTX 680, which I know is going to perform better. It's a, it's a, it's a better card, hands down. But uh, I'm going to go over uh, this card. I think still $500, so it's $200 more than the 7950. So in theory, for $100 more, you get two uh, Radon HD 7950s, which is uh, the the XFX card at least, which is just a standard 800 uh, megahertz uh, core clock speed. But uh, let's throw this in, see what kind of scores we get, and go from there. All right, so now I've thrown in the uh, EVGA GTX uh, 680, which I'm going to be running the same Zag 3D Mark 11. I did. This is a pretty overclocked card. I believe the boost clock is at a uh, little over 1100 uh, megahertz, so I'm not going to mess with overclocking or anything there. It's 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 kind of at its max. You'll see that. Uh, I actually left the panel off here. I don't think it really affects cooling, but this card runs uh, substantially hotter than the uh, 7950 for, uh, just because XFX has put a better cooler system on there. And let's run this and see what kind of temperatures we get and also see what kind of scores. I've ran this before and got pretty high scores compared to uh, what we got what we got earlier, but uh, kind of curious to see. I never really paid attention to the temperatures, but you'll see. I, I'm 100% positive we're going to see temperatures that are going to be substantially higher than what the 7950 card provided. So, once these tests are done, we'll get back with some scores. Finished doing my 3D Mark 11 benchmark on the NVIDIA GTX 680 provided by uh, EVGA. And the temperatures actually didn't get quite as high as I thought. Uh, they were, uh, ran about 77 was the highest but I have ran this card I actually have the side panel off just because I didn't want to put it back on but uh, this card usually runs and uh, I've seen it get all the way up to 85 usually when I'm playing games or doing any type of benchmarking it'll run between 82 and 84 degrees Celsius and I find that's kind of a bottleneck for this card that's the only negative it's has a higher significantly higher clock speed than the Radon HD uh, 7950 but as you can see here our scores were uh, higher significantly uh, at least from my from my perspective is that the uh, 3D Mark score was uh, 9233 compared to our 7416 that the AMD card provided and our graphics score is uh, right at about 10,000 in that range and about 8,000 was what our AMD card ran. So as you can see here there's a $200 price difference between these cards. So this is where you have to decide on um, I wish I had another card to run SLI. If anyone's running two of these cards SLI let me know so I can uh, maybe maybe further update things but you can for $100 more you can get two cards that are gonna have better cooling uh, they both have about the same warranty, but there it is going to have better cooling and you can run it in Crossfire and get significantly higher scores than what we got here. Uh, probably by three or four thousand at least. Uh, that's, just, that's just a guess. 
But overall, if I had to do things over again, uh, my case isn't really set up for uh, adequate air cooling. I don't have very many fans. I try to keep dust out of there. Uh, as you can see, I don't have... I don't, I, actually, all the air is actually being intake up here through the bottom. And then it's exhausted up through the top. As you can see there. Um, so, that's just something to keep in mind. If I was doing, like I said, if I was doing this over... Uh, for the price right now, $299 for the XFX 7950 is 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 a, probably one of the best deals on a high-end GPU right that's out right now. Uh, I wish I had a 660 uh, Ti to to go against it, because since that's the newest card that's supposed to, uh, I mean, it has almost some of the same hardware as the as the 670, which is a significantly more expensive card. Um, so my overall conclusion of uh, which cards you might actually want to look into purchasing, if I was doing things all over, I would actually step up and get the AMD XFX 7950 due to the price point, 300 bucks. That's an excellent price for a card that overclocks like a beast. You can get some really good scores out of this. You can overclock it, I've seen up to 25% of what the, what the clock speed already is on it. That's excellent. And what I find with the EVGA uh, GTX 680 that I have here is that it's, you can overclock it a little bit, but it's kind of overclocked to the max, at least in my setup for cooling wise, because it runs too hot. It gets up to 85 degrees Celsius and then it bottlenecks. So this is, this car's about as high as it's going to go. But if you got this one, which is $200 less, you're actually going to be able to get some pretty decent scores out of it. And for, you know, 600 bucks you could do crossfire of two high-end graphics card that's really going to give you some rock solid performance for probably a couple years to come depending on how demanding the games are get uh, graphics wise so that's just kind of been my overview and just kind of what i think of these two cards they're both excellent cards hands down evga and xfx provide excellent warranties and uh, you know, they, they have great designs, but they're designed for two totally different people and maybe two different cases. I think if you were able to water cool the GTX 680, it would it would be a, a no-brainer to do that. But you're going to look into getting the back plate, which is 160, and then getting the water cooling supply. You're looking at a, a substantial amount of money there that uh, you could just throw in two of these cards. 600 bucks, do it way cheaper, and get uh, get better performance out of it. So that's been my uh, comparison of the XFX Radon HD 7950 against the GeForce GTX 680 by EVGA. Thanks for watching.